All right guys, welcome back to another episode on my Norton Commando. Today we are starting to disassemble the engine. So we have to take the push rods out the top, which is just pulling them out. Then we have to take, take off the cylinders. Yeah, everything else. So we have a whole lot to do here, so let's get to it. So let me show you guys. So right here, I'm taking my push rods out. And like everything else, so the first one here, I have a box marked so I know exactly how everything goes when it's time for reassembly. They are different lengths as you can see. And this one over here. There, I just got it marked with the L and R, and time to start getting this, the cylinders off. All right, all I'm doing here is just removing all of these nuts right here. Easier said than done. It's gonna take a few ugly buggers, I think. There we go. Just gonna work them loose all around. All right, I've removed the ones that I can. And then these are just hitting against the bottom or very close to it. So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure I got everything as loose as I can by hand. Then I'm going to pull up on this and then get these out. And then just rinse and repeat until they come all the way off like that. All right, now let's see if we can't pull this off. All right, there we go. So the first thing to do is to get all these nuts that we took off into our label bag and then all the washers as well and there we go name cylinders and time to look at our cylinder walls here all right i don't know if how well you can see on camera but these actually look really good Might just need to be freshened up with a good old fashioned dingleberry home. This cylinder's got me slightly worried. I think there's a there's a little bit of a slight where I can feel. I can't catch a fingernail on it, but I'll have to get that checked out. this one as well so I have I am going to take my cylinder head to a machinist friend of mine well he's not a he's not only a machinist he works on Vincent's for a living but a friend of mine Glenn Bewley and he's going to help me out with my cylinder head with my new valves and all that stuff and I'll have him look at these as well to get his opinion as he is much smarter than myself and much more experienced and see what he thinks about this yeah on the bottom here where the skirts hitting I think that's where the wear is yeah same on this side yeah a little bit of wear on the skirt yeah so we'll see what Mr. Buley thinks of this and I will go follow his suggestions. I think these are oversized. It says 0.020. All right before we continue with the engine we'll take these out right here. They are safety wired in. So 
I will see if I can't untwist it with some lineman's pliers and get the safety wire out. Untwist them and then I'll cut it. All right, so I got the safety wire off of these is right here. I don't know what these are called, but I can tell you what they do. So the cam pushes these and then pushes on the push rods to open up, open and close the valve. So I know what they do. I just don't know what these are called. But we're going to remove these as we are going to clean these, clean all of this up anyway. I don't want any blasting media getting caught in here at all. So I've labeled my bags L cam bits and R cam bits because I don't know what they're called. Comment below and tell me what these are called. Gently push them out and they glide right out. So there we are. That's where your push rods sit right there. All right, so that's it that we're going to do on this for now. And then now over here on the engine, so over here on the engine, we are going to remove our timing cover. And on this, uh, this engine was wet something really badly. So I had a fix done. I can't remember who did it, guy in Arizona, if I remember correctly. There's a little tiny ball that's retained by a spring and then it keeps it from wet something. There was a video on it on the Mighty Garage channel and I saw that one and then I was like, hmm, that's a good idea. Mine was wet something really badly. And I did that and or I had it done and it fixed my problem. So I have to remember to catch the little ball that falls out whenever that comes in spring because that'll probably drop rather quickly or shoot out. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. All right, so I'm going to remove all of these on the timing cover. I'm just bringing them all loose first, then we're done. Then while I've got the timing cover off, I would like to try my hand at polishing it because I do like a polished timing cover. I think they look really, really good. I'm not sure if all these are the same length or not. We'll see. If they're not, I will do my cardboard, my very accurate cardboard drawing so I can remember which one goes where. Yep, the, that one's already a shorter one. So let me get a piece of cardboard and do a very accurate drawing. I'll be right back. All right, so here we have our very accurate and definitely to scale cardboard cutout. I mean, or, I mean, you can't tell a difference between this and that. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm, the other side, that's where I did for my Thruxton R timing cover. So this is peak of art design right here. So I'm just going to give the timing cover a few wraps. All right, time to pull off this timing cover. Hopefully nothing flings out at me. Go. So inside on the timing cover right here, so this little ball bearing right here is the one that sits against the oil pump with a spring right here to prevent it from wet something. So these are things I definitely do not need to lose. I think the spring stays in. Let me see if it'll come out easily. If not, I will leave it in there. All right, the spring came out with zero resistance. So we'll put this into the bag. 
ball bearing. And then this has to be cleaned. And I'll probably replace the seal right here too when I'm at it. I'm doing all this other work. Let's replace the seals. Obviously a new gasket. Clean this up, polish the other side. And then now, welcome to the timing side of the Norton Commando. Yay! All right, so now I'm really outside my wheelhouse. The only thing that I've ever messed with here is I pulled off the oil pump because that was part of the conversion to prevent it from wet something. So that's the only thing I've ever pulled off of here. I've never touched the timing chains. or gears or any, any of this stuff at all. Um, so this tensioner here, I think I have a replacement tensioner on the way just to be safe. All right, like I said, I'm completely outside my wheelhouse here, but the first thing I'm going to do is remove this oil pump. So let's take this loose. Remember these two handle oil. So this one actually pulled the whole stud off. Interesting, but that's fine. So there's my oil pump here. This is going to go into the oil pump bag. Along with the other bits. Just go ahead and remove this little paper gasket while we're here. We're not keeping this. This is going to the trash. And now I guess we will remove the sprocket here for the cam. All right guys, so I've been trying to get this nut off right here on the camshaft end and I can't get it off. I've tried heat, pry bars, I've tried impacts and I can't get it off so I'm going to end today's video right here I'm going to have to reassess on how to get this off I looked online I saw, saw somebody had to like drill it off maybe that's what I have to do and if I damage bits it, it is what it is and I'll replace them that's fine but uh yeah it's been quite a massive hassle trying to get this off this Tensioner bit right here has got some grooves in it. and I'm glad I've already got a new one ordered. So this Crankshaft nut right here. This is actually a reverse thread. So it comes off by spinning to the right. I've went ahead and started getting that one off. I, I Don't know what I need to do to get this off. It's It's on there good. I've got an impact that will do up to 1500 foot-pounds of torque and it didn't budget and I tried that with heat and everything else and it's not going anywhere. So I'm just going to have to end today's video right here and then I will reassess, maybe come up with a different game plan. Maybe you might have to just drill this nut off and see if I can't peel it off in two pieces. I don't know, we'll see. So that's it for today, thank you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how to get this damn thing off, please. All right, bye.